Hi there, guys and gals. It's Red back again here. It is late at night here, and so we got a tippy toe around the household, but I wanted to check out the Prime Day deals. I know a lot of you are excited about this because, you know, we don't know what's happening with Black Friday. We don't know if it's going to actually happen at all, really. And so maybe we can find some good tool deals here on Black Friday. Ryan Ergot, welcome, Cub. Hey, man, how goes it? Uh, let's see what we got here. So Prime Day, if you don't know, is two days where just Amazon basically blows out a bunch of stuff. Some of the deals are okay. Some of the deals are amazing. Some of them are just not even really deals. But let's see what we got here. So we're going to jump over into the this is the home improvement and power and hand tool section here and see what they got going on. The other thing is there's essentially two types of deals. They've got deals that are going to last throughout Prime Day, and then they've got lightning deals. And you can see here, like this one ends in 47 hours and 47 minutes. So this one's going to last all of Prime Day. Some of them, though, are just going to be like here and gone. So no idea how long they're going to last. So let's see what we got going on here. I will say this, the MyQ Smart Garage Hub, if I had one of these at my house in Vegas and it was a lifesaver. Uh, it just wires, the one of the receivers wires right into your uh, existing, it has to be compatible of course with what they have and being able to open it uh, by phone and stuff was really convenient. We used it actually a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, let's see, we got masks, that's very exciting. <laughs> Prime day deal, we got uh, more masks, we got faucets um we got some gloves here save on mechanics wear impact leather frame framer work gloves these are some pretty pretty intense and look you got the uh, cutouts there for the fingers so you can manipulate some stuff still do a lot of things keep the rest of your hand warm and protected 19 normally 22 to 24 so only 10 percent off but still getting a deal on gloves like this at any time is a good thing and with gloves like that you could use them as shooters gloves too with those fingers removed like that Anyway, Richard, there's Hey Bear from San Diego, Landon Ashby, Morning Red, Audubon, Dan, Dan, why are you awake? Don't you have to work in the morning or something, man? Matt says, Hey Bear, and Mark Cole, thank you for being on the air. Well, I try to, try to keep it down here because the wife has passed out on the couch. Audubon Dan says, only see Streamlight and Gerber knives so far. Well, we'll keep an eye out. These things, I, those things are hilarious. Uh, those massage things. I know they make adapters that go in your jigsaw, too. Uh, we got a stripping knife there. And I'm all out of singles. Hit the like if you get the joke. Uh, we got 21% off coordinated, coordinate three outlet. Sorry, coordinate. Haha, <laughs> get it? Coordinate. Three outlet braided extension cords. They don't look like they're very high gauge. Um, we got some ear protection here. Uh, Prime members save 30% on select 3M hearing protection. Uh, if there's something here I I go across and you want to link to, let me know, and I'll post the link in the uh, in the video uh, comments there. Um, what else we got here? More dimmers. I'm seeing a lot more home improvement stuff. Here's a vice. Here we go. Quick release vice. Let's see if we can get some more uh, more details on it. 13% off. The eclipse. Uh, quick release woodworking vice gray cast iron nine inch size. Uh, looks pretty generic, but looks like a nice little vice. Of course, this is something you're going to mount to your bench there. That looks kind of nifty. I don't really need a vice of that sort right now, but uh, it could be interesting. Uh, $125 though, uh, but that's down from 144 or basically 145. Not a bad little savings. Uh, let's see here. Matt says he's working right now. SRO says hi from Los Angeles. Of course, it's all the West Coast people. They're still awake. Yeah, it is 1.15 in the morning here in Montana time. So, um, staying up. We're not going to go all morning. I'm not gonna, I, had, I had this idea that maybe we'd do the, the 20, 48 hours straight prime day live streaming. I, I don't think I can do that. Oh, uh, more home improvement. Step ladders. Step ladders, like, you know, these are way better. They're not as good as some of the more robust ones, but they're way better than the old school step ladders that were out there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Thermostats, we got locks. Um, lighting. 
These things are pretty cool for putting in like along stairwells and walkways at night. So as you walk by, people can get light and stuff like that. Um, if, if that's what I think it is. I think that's what that is. I don't know. It has a button on it. It might be something different. Uh, battery powered mo yeah, motion sensing. So yeah, they can be used like that and all sorts of stuff as well. And they're 1430 down from $15. So light savings so far, not seen anything that just blows me away. Uh, Sean Gotham says three fifteen where I am. Oh my gosh, Sean, you're up late. Abby says in Cali, we don't can't do anything else. So might as well stay up. That's for sure. Mark says, hello, Bear from Florida. Other people up still late. Landon in Vermont. Oh, my gosh. You people need to get get some sleep, man. <laughs> On one hand, Primathon. Only if you do it with me. Uh, let's see here. David says, hello. I just went on Amazon, and the Prime deals were mostly just things I've recently searched, searched for with fake discounts. Prime Day died five years ago. Don't fool yourselves. I, I'm not really expecting anything miraculous, but, you know, fingers crossed. It can always happen. Uh, Derek says Home Depot deals are on now. Yes, and I was actually planning to do a video about some Home Depot deals later today, as well as the uh, the the was it the uh, uh, who's the other one? Wally World Walmart. Oh, since you're all here, I got to tell you the big deal that's over at Walmart. I'll let you in, give you the uh, behind the scenes. Let me see if I can find it here. Oh, where'd you go? Nothing really for the professional, but for somebody looking for a little bit extra storage, this is it right now. Over at Home Depot, rollback down from 200 bucks. It's the hyper tough 20 inch five drawer rolling tool chest and cabinet combo with riser, AKA mini hutch in there. Look at that. That thing. I know a lot of people who really like this thing for like home gamer kind of stuff. And uh, especially because of the, the little mini hutch workspace there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's a, maybe because I'm a taller kind of bear and hard, hard to work in those little tiny areas. But that said, even if you took the riser off and just use it as a as a base there, $87 for a, even the most basic double stack tool chest is a steal these days. You can't find them. Uh, you used to be able to get those Craftsmen for 100 bucks like every other month, and those deals seem to be gone. So this is definitely the one to get now. Uh, let's see here. Barry MC says 43% off Porter, uh, Porter cable tools. Really? And, uh, AJ says there's a lot of gear wrench stuff. 20% off. I'm grabbing half locking and no locking extensions. Oh, I'll have to wake up, uh, uh, Brad's workbench. He's the big fan of the, 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 uh, oh no, I'm thinking of fl uh, locking flex ones. Uh, TX gas pips is on my way back here to Texas. Good morning. Uh, Matt says, why is Home Depot having deals? Well, there's a lot of people who are trying to com compete with Prime Days, trying to jump on that whole bandwagon thing uh, and get people in stores or buying stuff online. So there's actually a whole bunch of other uh, retailers doing it as well. Automate N says, other retailers are primed. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's rolling tonight. And Brian says, hello from North Carolina, just woke up uh, for work. You're all up late. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. And automated and says, Porter Cable just won't die. They won't let it die. It's like, I'm tired. I'm done. Just let me go. Let me have my rest. And they're like, no, you're still working. All right, let's go through the rest. You know what? I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to see if we can get rid of the home improvement stuff and just do the tools and uh, see if we got anything. We got oh, all of 77 results. That's exciting. Oh, uh, what do we got here? 10% on those. That's not a big deal. Here we go. Here's a, a knife for you. We got the, the Swiss Army knife here. There's that. We'll take a look at the skill. We'll take a look at the Gerber here. Let's see what they got here. Oh, they, they have them, all the colors there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, even the Patriot, Patriotic Swiss Army knife. It seems a bit ironic. I don't know. You know, I used to love Swiss Army knives back in the day, but uh, ever since they, uh, you know, Leatherman came into the fold and just blew everyone out with the multi-tools. seems like Swiss Army is just like, it's adorable, but who wants one? Um, skill. All right, let's see what we got here. We got four Prime Day deals, and we got this little skilled drill driver thing here. That looks interesting there. Uh, but let's check out the, uh, 
check out that. I'm not really worried about the tile saw unless somebody else says they want to see one, but let's see what we got here. Uh, you save an additional 20%, looks like 20% on all the skill stuff. That's a nice deal. I mean, the, the new skill stuff since, uh, who was it took them over? Uh, Shervon. Now, that's the same people who make uh, Cobalt Power Tools. Uh, and they also did some OEM stuff for uh, some other companies. They know what they're doing. They can make some good power tools. It looks like it's well made um, for a budget, you know, Cirque saw, but still, and corded, but still, you know, decent saw there uh, for, uh, was it 62? Oh, I can't, I don't do math in my head. I have a rule against that because I always get it wrong. Uh, for 50 bucks. That, that's a nice deal. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Under Black and Decker. <laughs> uh, they, stu- they still owe Bob Vila money. That's Craftsman. Uh, Mark says, woke up this morning with a wine glass in my hand. Well, that's, that sounds like a fun night. Lena says, probably still paying Norm, too. Norm kept doing it, man, with the... Uh, the, the new Yankee workshop, man, he, he did that stuff for years. Uh, in fact, you know, if, for those of you, if you don't know, uh, Home Improvement, the TV show with, uh, you know, uh, did a, that was a parody of the old school, uh, This Old House. And my channel kind of was a parody of This Old House also uh, between uh, Red and, and Jeff as the, you know, Red's always the the talent behind the scenes with doesn't get paws on and Jeff makes Jeff do all the work. Um, so any, anyway, apparently they're they're revamping uh, Tool Time as a as a different show with the same concept, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but I I have high hopes for it. All right, the skill rechargeable four volt cordless screwdriver with circuit sensing technology. So basically, it's got a little. Uh, uh, meter in the front there and if you get near power it turns red to let you know that you're about to kill yourself uh, anyway 20% off that uh, it's normally $30 and so 30 bucks with 20% off that's going to be $25 it, it, I mean the, the, the sensing technology has never been an issue for me but as just having a good basic power screwdriver like that uh, that seems like it would be a nice thing to have and we've got the cordless, the skill power core there. And again, we're looking at 20% off of that. Uh, price is one, excuse me, 176.67. Uh, and 20% off is, brings it down to 141. And you're getting the battery. It looks like it's a four amp hour battery with charger. And and that, let's see, is it brushless? It is brushless. It, it, it is brushless. It looks like, one of the things I always check is the base plate on a Cirque saw. I need them to be like, like a slab of metal. I don't want anything to be, and that's guy. I can look at this. And I'm like, I wish it was a little bit thicker, uh, rather than the stamped steel kind of thing. Uh, but the rest of it seems to be pretty nice. It's, you know, it's got its dust collection port. It's got all of the, right. And I get, you know, a lot of people these days, they're like, Oh, I want, you know, a left facing blade. I have some left facing blade saws and maybe I'm just too old school, but the right facing are what I just feel more comfortable with using. Um, Brian says that saw would be so confusing because you would still call it a skill saw. <laughs> I know I, I do that all the time. People get, people get so miffed when I, like I call all adjustable wrench, wrenches, crescent wrenches and, and uh, they're like, oh, no, you can only call them like, oh, my gosh, the, the name Nazis around here. Here's some Gerber knives. Look at this old Gerber EAB pocket knife. That's if you guys seen the work pro ones that I love, that looks like an even more slick version of that. Of course, it's slightly more expensive. 1750 on that one. Um, the Gerber uh, NXT multi-tool, does it have the, uh, I don't think it has that new centerline drive. That the, well, this one down here does. Has the center line drive. Let's see how much that thing is going for. And it's you get an additional 15% off on that. Uh, that's the center line. So basically, if you've used any of these multi tools, you know you have to kind of adjust the 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 way you hold it. And uh, this puts the, the the pivot point back in the center. Uh, I'm really happy with my Leatherman. Uh, but let's see here at 88 99 times 0.8. 71 dollars 
yeah it's it's a nice feature and if i didn't have something i might look at that but i've got a full boat leatherman i've got a load of knockoff leathermans all over the place and then my daily carry is the uh the skeletal and uh, it's more lightweight version of the leatherman uh, it's got a nice blade on it and it's got a screwdriver and it's got pliers and really not much else and but it, that you find out that's pretty much what you use on a day-to-day -day basis uh torque stick says i uh, i don't know it seems like a left-handed facing blade seems natural like a left-handed fishing pole uh <laughs> and derek says i got the skill screwdriver 15 bucks on woot that's a great deal uh in fact i was just looking at Woot prior prior to this let's see if woot's doing anything Woot, if you don't know, is a deals is they're the original deals of the day site, and they got purchased by uh, Amazon about a decade ago. Uh, so now they have all sorts of stuff. Uh, Prime members get free shipping. Well, that's nice, but I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see them do anything else exciting here. Oh, possums! There you go. Got a. Let's see if they got anything in uh, in tools. Oh, we got Bora six piece lever clamp set for seventy bucks. That's interesting and let's see here sometimes you see a bunch of port cable stuff show up here we got metabo craftsman 16 piece socket wrench set for 129 and everything else is sold and there we go there's the porter cable sold out um no surprise there and let's see here let's go back to the old uh amazons where was i Woot was good over 10 years ago. Yeah, back, there was a time when Woot had some fabulous stuff on it. And uh, I remember getting some great deals on there back in the day. Every once in a while you find a nice deal, but nothing that, like, you know, blows your hair back kind of thing. All right, we got Dremel. We were just talking about Dremel. Let's see if they got the good Dremels going here. They do the 4300 as opposed to the 4400. Uh, that's a great one. And it is, my guess, it's going to be like 10, 15% off. And it is, you save an additional 15 bucks. So it's going to be $85 for the kit. You get all the little call-it adapters and all that stuff, plus, you know, your basic, you know, accessories kit and the tool itself there. Um, let's see, anything else exciting down here? Nope. And let's go on back to what we got here. Prime uh, members save 10% on Nico. Hey, Dan, have you tried the Nico stuff? I know you try a lot of these different uh, companies and whatnot. Uh, I've I've heard of them only from shop, shopping on Amazon, uh, but I've never tried them. Oh, we got some Makita tools. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the Nika and, and Apollo. I have no idea who those guys are. Um, let's see. We got oh look at this. Look at this. We got a Makita nibbler. We got a work light. That work light would be nice. Let's take a look at what, see what that's going for. And you get 20% off on that. That's not too shabby. So call it $95 just for rounding. 76 bucks on a Makita. Now, is it is it hybrid? And I'm going to say that it is because it's got a cord. <laughs> and it takes a battery. So it looks like that's, oh, that's kind of nice. It, it even has an enclosure to keep the battery safe. And there we can see a 110. So it's definitely a hybrid choice here. Uh, I wonder if it charges the battery. That, I, that's too much to ask. But still at 90, was it $76? If you're in Makita, that's a great choice to go with. Um, Raphael says, I just ordered one of those tool chests free delivery. I'm sure I can shove something in there for 90 bucks. Right? Am I right? That, that's, at least somebody found a, a deal here. Uh, the scene says, I'm looking for a snowblower. <laughs> you and me both, brother. If we come across one, I'll let you know. Carmen says, any good DeWalt deals? Haven't run across any yet. Uh, Auto Dan says, Nico, typically low to mid Taiwan, it seems. Thank you, sir. And Jeep Man says, Dentools, do you know if DeWalt is coming out with a ratchet tool like Milwaukee had, uh, I'm guessing you're saying, are they going to come out with, um, uh, the, do they, do they have, does Makita or so does Walt, I didn't even think about that. DeWalt, uh, it'd have to be a 20 volt, wouldn't it? Man, I, I guess they don't have a ratchet, do they? I didn't even think about that. 
somehow it just kind of skipped my uh, my thought process there. Um, right angle, you put a socket driver on that if you wanted. Uh, let's see here. I don't see. There we go. An air ratchet. Wow. That seems to be a glaring gap in the tool chain, doesn't it? Someone correct me. I've got to be missing this. DeWalt's got to have a ratchet. I thought at first he was saying like the impact ratchet that Milwaukee just came out with. I figured that well, they've got a basic ratchet, right? How did I miss that? Everyone and their brothers got a ratchet. <laughs> Look at this. Ingersoll Rand's got a... Uh, always weird to see Ingersoll Rand doing electric tools, but uh, Ingersoll Rand's got a ratchet. Everyone's got a ratchet. All right. Let's see here. Um, Dan says some DeWalt deals at Lowe's. I did one of the deals of the day today. They had a really good deal on the... Uh, the DeWalt Impact comes with a free 5.0 amp hour uh, battery on the, on the half inch XR. That's the brushless, uh, top line brushless. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dan, have you used that one? I know Justin Dow, uh, he uh, got one, I think it was last year, and he swears by it at this point. He loves it. And, uh, and I think he had Milwaukee prior to that. So that's a big deal to pull him off of Milwaukee for that. Landon says, not really impressed with the Prime Day so far. You can get $10 with a promo code if you buy a $40 gift card. way it reads, could be two days before you get the $10. Yeah, you can also, like if you spend X amount of dollars over at, uh, what do you call it, Home Whole uh, Paycheck or uh, Whole Foods, and uh, it, you can do that. You can get money back with that. You can do a bunch of stuff. Um he says, yeah, you can tell him to come out with an I will I'll send him an email. Uh, there you go. Torque Stick says that Mac, Mac 3 8 ratchet is DeWalt. And that, that's true. If you guys don't know, uh, Mac is owned by Stanley Black & Decker, and all their power tools are interchangeable with DeWalt. Uh, it's under the Mac line, Robbie says. And um, M. America D says, this is America. <laughs> Proud America. Mark Cole uh told me you're shining on oh a sale he's getting rid of dwalt and trading for makita tools i love a steal of a deal oh the uh the you know i love makita stuff so i'm happy to go through all of this stuff let's see what else we got the nibbler we got the makita shorts also this is all going to be was it 15 dollars off on all these this is 20 dollars, 20 percent off of uh we're looking at 130 that takes it down to 104. Uh, let's see what else we got. Any other cool deals here from Makita? Any core? Here we go. Here we go. This is. The, here we got the XT. Well, why is that five four hundred dollars? That seems a bit much. Let's let's jump into this here. So we got the basic brushless. All right. So this is a step up. This is not the basic. So I've got. Uh, this like I've got this tool, but it doesn't have the uh, the the what should we call? At least I don't think it has. Mine doesn't have the uh, the settings on it, so you can change the the modes and whatnot. So this is a step up. It's not the base level brushless. You're getting two of the batteries, two of the five amp hour batteries. Mine came with a three amp hour battery. You get the dual charger. That's a Makita makes excellent chargers, and you get the bag there. It's normally four hundred dollars there. Uh, well, three ninety nine, and that takes it down to three twenty. If if you're looking to get the top of the line uh, Makita brushless, uh, I think it's the top of the line. I don't think there is one. It's a step up from that as far as combo packages, but I could be wrong. Uh, Makita's line is huge. A lot of people don't realize how many tools Makita has. Everyone thinks M Milwaukee's got the largest line of power tools. I think Makita actually edges them out, and. Uh, Anyway, so that's not a not a bad deal if you're looking to get serious. In the thing is, Makita batteries, much less much like Milwaukee batteries, are stupid expensive. So getting those two 5.0s is a is a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Um, just catching up on the comments. Uh, 
<laughs> Dan says there's a ratchet brand in every letter of the alphabet. I, I think there is. Uh, Jeep says torque stick does it, does it work with the Walt batteries? Uh, are, we, are you asking somebody else? Yeah, you are. I'm like, is, there, is he asking if torque sticks work with them? No. Okay. Uh, yes, the, the Mac does work with the Walt batteries. Raphael says, I need the central machinery cement mixer bad. Any coupons for it? Um, I'll tell you what, where I go for coupons when I'm looking at that kind of stuff is I go over to Harbor Freight Coupon Database. And let's see if there's anything for a uh, cement mixer. We got some expired stuff. Doesn't look like there's any. Current price is two oh nine. Um, looks like there was a price change back in June, uh, but I don't see anything current on that. I will tell you this though: uh, a little bird told me they're coming out with an update for the cement mixer, which means it may go on clearance sometime soon. For keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. No DeWalt ratchet yet. No. Uh, Dan says my DeWalt half inch 1200 foot pound is stuck in full beast mode. I got the rigid high torque now. And uh, Brian says most mechanics would get the Mac over DeWalt because the molding is oil resistant. Hey, just so you know, here's a hack for you. If you're looking for a good high end charger for your DeWalt tools, the Mac, as we said, all the battery stuff is compatible, is the exact same as the high end DeWalt charger but it's like 10 bucks less for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, Josh says, pay $200 for this Makita kit at Home Depot three months ago. Only difference is the single charger. It had the two five amp hour batteries because if you got a kit with those two tools and two five amp hour batteries, I think people are probably looking for you. There might be a, a APB out on you. <laughs> and uh, Raphael says, no coupon on the mixer and 20% coupon does not apply. Yeah, that central machinery thing is a, that they add is a real pain. Chaka, Chaka in the morning. Good morning, Chaka. Ryobi is trash. Thank you for reminding us. I almost forgot. Glad to see you. Uh, Torque Stick says, I think more brands were added to the excluded section in the 20% off. They they did. It was a big deal when they added the central machinery, and that came about, I was told it came about because of the, uh, uh, the, the import tariffs and stuff that were going on, that they just couldn't do that anymore. Um... Reese says, would you say it's worth joining the, paying the membership? Um, it, I think you're talking about, you're talking about Harbor Freight, the Inside Track Club. If you are, I would say that it is. Um, it looks like people give away coupons anyway. Well, you used to be able to use Inside Track coupon, the Inside Track Club coupons before, but now there's no barcode there's no number that goes along with them they just get instantly applied that's the reason why it's useful because now you don't have to worry about missing it you just go and shop if it has a yellow sticker in the store you're going to get it on sale when you when you check out there's there's no shuffling looking for coupons or any of that stuff <laughs> not a bond dance now that's dedication probably had a, uh, a thing set up with oh the dental is live i have to must remind everyone that ryby is trash uh, bobby says chaka we we know you, you Loki want those HP tools. <laughs> hey, did you guys check out uh, Chris over at Client Graphics? He did a video. I haven't had a chance to watch the video. I just saw the snippet that shows, I think it's on Instagram, that shows that the standard brushless uh, impact driver was beating the, ba the, the brand new compact HP impact driver. I thought that was uh, interesting. Uh, Patrick says, I've been enjoying my Ryobi air cannon. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. He says, okay, thanks for the help. No worries. Barbecue 76. I just got home from work. And what do I find? A live stream. What's up, man? <laughs> Bear. Well, you know, we're just going through here looking for uh, for uh, any of these new Prime Day deals. See what we got. We got Nico. Remember, as Dan told us, he, these are... Uh, mid to low tier uh, Taiwanese made uh, uh, items like this. So we talked about this set before. This is a nice chock full of stuff kind of set. Uh, it, now this is your your driver bits set kind of thing. 
we got uh, Torx and Hex and it looks like eTorx and uh, all sorts of good stuff. Oh, we got some sockets in there as well. No, those are uh, the eTorx. Oh, so we got a um, 60-piece set, normally 50 bucks. You're going to save another 5 bucks on that at checkout, printing, taking it down to $45. That might be worth going with. The only problem with stuff like this is I don't know what they're like with their warranty. Because these are, I consider this kind of stuff, these are... Uh, perishable items they're going to get used up and you're going to really want a, an easy to use uh, warranty i don't i should probably find out what they're like with their warranty uh, anybody showing me the <laughs> the tool used with a composite ratchet that makes me a little suspect uh, i know they're comfortable and, and lightweight to use but they're, they're not the most robust things out there all right let's keep going here this thing so this set i was looking for deals and stuff earlier today and i ran across this and Here's the reason I did not recommend this. Anybody who has only laser etching like this on on those sockets, you know they're going to be gone. <laughs> a year from now, you're not going to have any clue what socket this is. And that's a shame. Anyway, oh, what's the what's the sale? 10% off on that also. And Apollo. Um, yeah, look at that. that. That's quality right there. Look at that hammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Fifteen percent off if you're interested. We're gonna pass. Oh, let's see here. Um, where where was I? I lost my place. Uh, Justin says checking in for the first time. Our our Hillsboro, Oregon. Hey man, how goes it? Raphael says ITC requires phone number now. Save by signing up online. You get to yes. Always sign up online, do the two-year plan, and we've done the math on it, and that gets you the most savings. Uh, Justin says, you rock, thank you. No, thank you, sir, for being here. And Raphael says, "You so you can't merely pass on ITC coupons. Not anymore. There's no coupon code to give out. And uh, Torque Stick says, oh, you're talking to Jeep Code. Mark says, is the Black Friday deal starting earlier this year? Well, the idea is that Black Friday, because they don't want, mobs of people rushing in the store and giving everyone covid that they're spreading it out and i think amazon kind of figured this was going to happen so they pushed prime day as far back as they could so it's kind of getting into that so we're trying to see if maybe there's some black friday-esque kind of deals here we're gonna see jerry well says hey hey mega dude says uh don't knock Roby when you can't afford the high-end tools they just work fine I think they're pretty good, actually. But you know what? Chaka, you know, Chaka is Chaka. And let's see here. Oh, what was that? Um, Brian says, I like the laser etching as long as it's still roll stamped. Yeah, laser etching is easy to read. And it's nice while it lasts. That's what I like about the new Tecton stuff. They have both of them on there. Landa sees te Tecton 30-piece uh, wrench set for uh, 115 on Amazon, 125 on Tecton site. But I don't believe it's a Prime Day deal um the let me just do the math on that real quick so 125 times 0.9 it's a dollar yeah that's still a dollar cheaper than the 10 percent uh cash back that you'll get uh or credit back you you'll get i'll buy it through the tecton site and let's see here all right caught up on the comments let's keep going here see what else we got here uh Prime member save on Gear Ranch Auto Specialty Tools. Well, this should be interesting. Oh, and here's the the uh, the Porter Cable stuff. We got more Gerber, more gear. Oh, Gear Ranch Ratchets. Look at that. Um, Williams Hand Tools. And Williams, that is the uh, the budget industrial brand uh, of uh, Snap On. There, we got some more skill. We talked and you get more skills still. All right, we got Ingersoll Rand Air Tools and Maxcraft. I don't even know what that is. We'll take a look. So let's jump through these real quick. All right, so this is Gear Wrench Specialty Tools. We got pick and hook sets. We got uh, serpentine belt sets. Uh, Gear Wrench Tap and Die. That looks interesting. Let's see what the Tap and Die will get us. And I'm not seeing prime day deal on this i mean it's just a sale price that's 
bizarre. Well, it's not. It's just it doesn't have prime data, but everything else does. Well, this one does. <laughs> Take that. 20% off. So if you're at... Takes it down to $88. Not a bad deal. It's a pretty basic tap and die set. Not sure the quality on this. If anyone's ever used it, let me know. Uh, Dean says this is a 24-hour, 48-hour set. Well, Dan answered. 48-hour set. Um, and Roger says, good morning, Bear. My first time on live stream. How you doing? Sparks type says, no, my prime ends tomorrow. Ain't got that renewal fee. I think you can get a 30-day uh, a free 30 day membership. Uh, if you go to the main page on Amazon and, uh, let's see here. The uh, camera says howdy. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Was there anything else with the, uh, the gear wrench stuff? They'll give get some, uh, hammer puller set there. Scrapers. Nothing else jumping at me that looks exciting. Let's move along. Here's a port kit. No, well, what do we got here? We got the nailer, cord or cordless nailer, for one ninety nine plus. I'm sure there's a discount on that. Let's see what the combo set here has for us. So, this is the cordless drill combo kit. Now, this is the brushed, not brushless. Uh, it's one thirty two. So let's see here, one thirty two dot eighty times point eight, and that takes it to one oh six. Yeah, I don't know if I want a brushed combo. If I'm buying in a porter cable, at least want the brushless stuff. Uh, you see, like one of the things I'm not a fan of is their chargers. They've got those uh, uh, piggyback chargers like the heart uses and stuff like that. It's just not really filling me with the warm fuzzies. All right, what do we got here? We got some more gear wrench here. We got the, the, the little thumb gimbal. Um... Here we got the gear wrench. What is it? Locking flex head, 84 tooth, uh, 24 inch. That's a nice long one there. And it is, let's see here, 76, 88 times 0.8. This is 61, 61.50. That's not a bad deal. That's really not a bad deal there for that, uh, for a gear wrench locking flex head like that. I should send that over to Brad. He, he'll have a day with that. Uh, Dan says 20% for gear wrench is good. Gear wrench usually caps every retailer at 15%. There you go. Um, the John, John Parsons says, hello, everyone. Dean says, thanks, Dan and Bear. Kay says, how about Dremels? We just talked about Dremel. They've got the 4300 on sale. Uh, it was, I think... With the discount, it was $85. Uh, Patrick Gann says, I think you can do Prime Monthly for twelve ninety nine dollars unless they changed it. Dan H. says, there's some deals on Milwaukee and DeWalt on Home Depot. Don't know how they compare to Prime Day Seal. Deal. Uh, can't talk. It's too, too early in the morning. Don't know how they compare to Prime Day Sales. And uh, let's see what else we got here. That's, that, that's, that's a tempting deal right there. I might get that. So let's move on. Oh, wait. I was going back to see if there's anything else. Gear wrench here we want to take a look at. Uh, there's a gear wrench. Uh, three quarter or yeah, three quarter inch uh, quick drive or quick release teardrop wrench. Uh, yeah, let's see here. That might be interesting. I don't use that often, but we got, let's see here, $61. So you're looking at about just under $49 for a three-quarter inch uh, quick-release ratchet there. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have anything to justify it right now. Maybe if I did more farm equipment kind of stuff. Oh, uh, Let's see. I got to play around with that. By the way, I got to play around with that Milwaukee one-inch D-ring, uh, uh, D-handle uh, impact wrench. I think it's... Just absolute beast. Oh, uh, okay. Let's keep going here. Um, I gotta see if they uh, they'll let me borrow it for a, a video. They they were joking around that they were gonna find some reducers and take it all the way down uh, to the point where they could drive uh, uh, 
uh, what do you call it? Uh, deck screws with it. <laughs> See if they how far they could sink a deck screw. I'm thinking China. All right, gear wrench. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Looky there. We'll take a look at that one, and some of the other ratchets. Um, we got some extensions here. Some more ratchets. Hey, look, we got 20% off on the 70 tooth quarter inch, uh, 12 inch locking, locking flex head. Uh, that's interesting. If you do a lot of stuff with quarter inch, that could be really nice. Uh, we got the quarter inch drive teared up. The little tiny ones, the five inch there, the 90 tooth, uh, it's on sale for 20% off down. So it's going to take you down to like 18 bucks there. And we got the three eighths drive uh flex handle breaker bar there uh flex handle what does that mean i i don't know i've never seen that kind of description a drive flex handle breaker bar. just the fact that it pivots what's flex handle is it hiding does that actually have a flex like a locking flex in it or something uh, and it is 20 bucks, 20% 20 on sale. That's, that's not a bad price right there. Uh, 90 tooth cushion grip flex teardrop ratchet, three eighths, uh, normally 60 bucks. And we got 20% off on that. So $48. Um, <laughs> Barbecue say sixes. I thought you were wanting a skid steer. Sounds like a good reason to have a three eighths wrench to me. It is, is it not? I still haven't convinced the wife. We we got to buy some land. You know, we 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 got our house up in here, Montana, but we're still in uh, we're in a small town, and we're we're very happy and very blessed with where we have. But we're looking to buy some land outside of town, and once that happens, that's when I'll be able to justify the skid steer, and it's going to happen there. Uh, Cameron says, I got a new air compressor from Harbor Freight. Sweet. Which one did you get? And Jeep man says, any word on echo eco battery power generator? I heard they were updating. I've not heard anything about that. Uh, Dan says 84 tooth gear wrench is supposed to phase out. So you may see it cheaper than 20%. Good to know. And Brian says, any deal on the 90 tooth locking flex set? As far as the set, no, but we did just see that one. Um, the, where else do we got here? Autobahn, Dan says, hmm, looks like select gear wrench, maybe try it in the cart. And let's see here, what else we got? Um, we got the quarter inch 72 tooth, yeah, quick release, locking flex, slim head ratchet. Uh, that's kind of a specialty item there for, uh. Those, you know, those jobs where you don't need it very often, but when you do need it, you're glad you have it kind of thing. Uh, we got 20% off on that. looks like it's going to be 20% on all these gear wrench. Uh, there's the 84 tooth. Yeah, I heard the 84 tooth was going away as well. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Uh, the Williams, not a ton here with the Williams. They got their uh, inch drive bolt, three eighths, sorry, three eighths inch drive, uh, bolt through socket set, 22 piece, $109. And it is, Ooh, all of 10% off. Gee, let me think about it. No, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, skill. We got a five inch random orbit sander includes three pieces of sanding paper. Thou, that, that was awfully nice of them. I don't know why they do the clear of dust collection boxes. I don't understand that. Forty-seven ninety-nine, and you can save an additional thirty percent. That's a nice one, thirty percent on that. So let's let's call it forty-eight for easy use. We're going to bring it down to around thirty-eight dollars. Uh, not not terrible for the sander. I mean, there's nothing special. I've we've seen the stylus sander. It's variable speed. <coughs> Excuse me, it's orbital, uh, and uh, it's got three pieces of sanding paper with it. I mean, what more do you want? All right, it's late. I'm snarky. <laughs> Don't blame me. Um, the Let's see here. Angela Carson says, hey, just seeing you live now. <laughs> Better late than never. Good to see you. 
think I woke up the wife. She may stab me. Shh. Keep it down, everyone. Uh, Dean says, you'll need a full-size tractor with that land. Mahindra is nice. Get an enclosed heated AC cab. Yeah, up here. That is for sure. I have been looking at the Mahindra stuff. It is pretty nice. Um, let's see. Dan says, the 3 8 cushion grip night tooth is the nicest, in my opinion. Uh, and then, let's see. Brian agrees with him. And Audubon Dan says, there's a nice f flat side to it. Cherokee Vapor says, hard to get parts for Mahindra. And uh, sure, you just run over to India. It's not a problem. Actually, we're, I don't even know where a Mahindra dealer is around here. we got a deer dealer in town. But, you know, I grew up with deer. Was You know, everyone I knew had deer. They'd make fun of the people who had Massey Ferguson and all that kind of stuff or international. And, uh, but with the whole thing that deer pulled recently with not trying to keep people from fixing their own stuff and whatnot, and it really turned me off of them, and I feel bad about it, but it's hard to support a company like that. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to grab a drink there. Um, oh, <laughs> Wild Turkey sitting at the end of my desk going, you know, we haven't talked in a while. Yes, we did. Go away. Um, let's see here. Barbecue 76 says, don't get land, skid steer, and not have the wrench be prepared. <laughs> You, know, you can tell the missus to blame me. Nice. Don't make me get the bell. Uh, Justin says, I've gotten into woodworking and looking for sp specific stuff. Unfortunately, missed most of the live stream. Have you seen any deals on Bosch skill saw equipment, specifically table saws or Jorgensen clamps? Uh, no. We've seen some skill items, but not the skill saw. We've seen a, a saw from skill, but not the one you're talking about. And no table saws, I don't think. No. All right, so all, in fact, we're looking at skill stuff right now. We've got the drill driver. We've got the multi-tools. We've got the right angle, uh, right angle impact, the single hand recip, and the combo set. Let's see what's going on with the combo set. Look at this. You get, talking about a great DIY setup here, you get the drill driver, you get the impact, you get the light, you get the multi-tool, and the radio. That's, that's not something you see very often. I like that. Um... And you get that for $250. That I'm not thrilled about, but let's see what the discount is here. Uh, remember, again, we don't do math in our head because that's how mistakes get made. 200 bucks for brushless tech. So th these are brushless drill drivers, brushless uh, impacts, uh, a brushless multi-tool, uh, and it's got the toolless changer on it and everything. Um Looks like we got some basic batteries with it. That's kind of a two, two point amp hour batteries. That's kind of a downside. But still, if you're looking to get into, oh, we got multiple combos. Let's see the six tool combo. Is that one on sale also? Nope, no prime day on that. Four tool. Nope, three tool. Nope, so just the five tool. All right, how about drill driver with oscillating? Nope. All right. Moving on, Ingersoll Rand. I know when I think uh, air impacts, I always think Ingersoll Rand. Maybe it's it was just a thing when I was growing up. I don't know. And uh, we got the half inch heavy duty air impact wrench, standard anvil for one fifty five. Let's see what it's got going here. What kind of discount we got on twenty percent off? Twenty percent off. That's not too. That's not terrible. We're at uh, let's see here. We'll call it one fifty six times point eight. And 120, we call it 125 rounding. That's not terrible on that. And what else we got? We got the, ooh, in the camo, so you can't find it at all. <laughs> Anybody see my wrench? Oh, this is the half-inch drive impact wrench with titanium hammer hammer case. Camo design, you're paying for that camo. It's got 20% off on that also. Uh, so we're trying 30 a times point A, we're taking down a 246, uh, if that's what you're looking for. All right, and I'm not even looking at this max craft. So I never do understand these stubby hammer things. I, I just I can't, just a good way to lose the finger or something, if you ask me. Uh, we got more Nika. We got more gear wrench wrenches. Let's see if any of these are exciting or useful. Oh, we got a few sets here. Look at this. I, and we got the ratcheting ones. Oh, oh my, let's see. 
a gear wrench 44 piece set long wrenches uh, anything else that jumps out at us da, da, da. Justin says I, oh I just read that one about getting into woodworking uh, Brian D says identical to Matco but $200 cheaper uh, Landon says run, deer run <laughs> Just as, and you were talking about the 80 tooth ratchet earlier. Personally, I won't bother with anything less than a hundred tooth, especially with a handle that long. Um, I don't know if a hundred is, I mean, 90 tooth is, is definitely de decent. Dean says Mahindra USA made in Texas. Deer screw their customers hard. Yeah, it feels like that. Misfit 74 checking in says, what's up folks. Mongo Wongo says my first time catching one of your live streams. Love your channel. Need to grab some Z's. Love you in the channel. I need to grab some Z's too. It is two o'clock. So we're only going to go for a little bit longer. I thought I just wanted to do the first hour here. Doug Stubbs in the house. Did someone say Stubby? You need something? <laughs> Model Ben Dan says Super Mario Hammers. Yes, yeah, great for whacking Koopas. And Barbecue 76 says Kubota has a nice tractor line. A friend of mine worked at one of their shops for many years. You know, I, 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 that was the first thing that jumped in my mind when somebody said Mahindra. I thought, well, what about Kubota? I can't think of the last time I saw any Kubota tractors around this part of the country. Maybe they're just not a thing up here. Oh, we got the gear wrench 12 point ratcheting. I wish I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What do you guys think on ratcheting? I want six point unless I'm doing specifically 12 point, uh, you know, with cars and stuff with, with 12 point sockets on them or 12 point uh, bolts and whatnot. Uh, so we got the, uh, we got 24, 22. We got, so we got a, at least one skip in there. Uh, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So one skip at, 23 which i don't think that's really that big a deal um and we're looking at how much was that 135 on that so 135 and we're looking at 20 percent off 108 bucks for a 16 piece set uh ratchet wrench set from gear wrench that's not terrible it's I will be honest, uh, you know, Harbor Freight sent me the the um, the Icon. Uh, they're kind of a long handle uh, compared to most of the other ones. They're I love them. They're fabulous. Uh, the I have no idea what the price is. So don't ask me. Gear wrench, forty four piece, twelve point combination. So this is non ratcheting. We got two hundred nineteen for all of these. Uh, Twenty percent off on that. That's not inspiring me. What else we got here? We got more port Porter Cable Oscillating. Let's see here. Oh, and SATA. And if you guys don't know, SATA is owned by Apex, the same people who do Gear Wrench. This is their mid-tier line, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but back to Porter Cable here. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 43% off on this. Wow. Um, what the f 135 times, what is that, 0. 0.57? Is that right? Four, yeah. 76.95 on that. Let's, I got to see what uh, pricing is on that around the uh, 135, 129, 99, 98. 95 at Walmart tool nut. Let's see what we got at Walmart. Is it really the same thing? And only five left. Uh, it's the uh, PCE PCE 605. This is a PCE 606. I, I don't know what the difference is. Three piece. It looks similar, but I don't know what the difference is between the two of them. But still, <coughs> it's not even in the same price category. $77, let's call it. That's a steal. All right. Um, let's see here. Going back to the chat here. Oh, 
Barbecue 76 says, Kubota has a nice tractor line. A friend of mine worked there for years. Sean says, I need to get my hands on the double box and gear ridge set. Uh, are they on sale? I didn't see them so far. Uh, we just started an hour ago and been talking and stuff. Um, Behinder dealership in Libby, Montana. I'm not even sure where Libby, Montana is. Montana's a big state, and I don't know all of it for sure. I, it could be next door for all I know. Uh, maps. Let's see here. And it is. Oh, it's nowhere near me. That's up near Kalispell. You're right, almost up to the border. You're probably looking a five-hour drive at least for me. Yeah, so that's a, that's a hard pass. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, Homer says, hello from England. Howdy there. And Doug says, it's not late. This is my normal work time. Three more hours at work. Oof. Uh, Barbecue 76 says, I've been looking at ratcheting wrenches for years now and still haven't bought any. Even working in the shop, wrenches on equipment, I really had no way to justify them. Really? I love ratcheting wrenches. Brian says, yeah, six makes more sense on ratcheting because you can get it in and turn it fast. That's what I think. I'm, I see there's no reason for worrying about rounding off corners unless, of course, you need a, you need a, you have a 12-point fastener. Uh, Michael says that's an 11-piece versus a 52-piece on Amazon. Dean says that's a good deal on that Porter cable. Yeah, I mean, especially the fact since it's, it's corded, so you don't have to worry about getting batteries and stuff in the future. Cameron says I have a McGraw. Those McGraws aren't bad. They're bad. Dean says northwest corner. Way northwest corner. And out of it in says Zeta is lower grade gear wrench. Exactly. Justin says, and with that six point Roger that you're less likely to strip, never understood the 12 point unless absolutely necessary. Exactly. So let's see what we got in the Zetas. Wow, look at that. We got a quarter inch 72 tooth. Yeah, it's not the most thing. I love the knurling. You know, you know me, I'm a, I got a weak spot for, for good knurling. And that's some knurling, better than most. Uh, you got a retention ring on it. Uh, I prefer screws over the, the retention rings uh, or snap rings or whatever. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, Apex, so they make so many tools. I've seen this, I'm pretty sure I've seen this design, minus the knurling, uh, f from other sold through other vendors and stuff but still 9.99 20 percent off so you're going to take two bucks off of that then it's basically eight bucks eight bucks for quarter inch 70 tooth ratchet that's not terrible um all right let's see what else they got for us we got the tongue and groove nine bucks is this gonna all be 20 percent off here i'm guessing Yep, 20% off on that as well. Uh, anything else here? We got... Da, 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 that's a nice little set right there. Wow, these prices. They're pretty cheap. Just cheap to begin with. I mean, I've, I've kind of looked at Sata in the past, but not really that closely. Here we go. 43-piece, quarter-inch drive, SAE and metric set, standard and deep sockets with ratchet, and other accessories, uh, 49 so 50 bucks, and 20% off of that, 10% uh, of 50 would be 5, 20 is 10, that gets you down to $40, I know I said no math in my head, I lied, um, <laughs> and we got more knurling, look at that, yeah, that's a nice little, you know, if, if you're looking for, you know, a, a, a truck set or something to take with you, you'll get a nice slim little package on that, that's not too bad. I might have to consider that little sucker. And it's unfortunate it's only a quarter inch. Uh, we got a hammer there for 25. Side curves. We got a lot of stuff here. Look at all this. Man, you could outfit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Real we'll, uh, we'll come back to that one. Let's see what else we got here. We'll go through the rest of them. We got some uh, pliers and side cutters, a hammer. Uh, I don't like these kind of post racks i know some people like them socket storage has got to be the most debated thing you'll ever see um we got a three-piece drive set there 90 let's get off there 95 dollars 
Uh, that's not twenty percent off at checkout. Does it keep going here? Long reach needle nose there for twenty bucks. Another twenty percent off on that. Um, let's see, deburring, deburring tool. That's a nice tool to have. And oh, those look some nice. Man, these look like SKs, don't they? Twenty nine dollars. Get the ratcheting. All right, let's go back to that other one. Twenty four piece. SAE metric, double ratcheting. Uh, oh, I hate these ends. I don't know. Do, does anybody like these? Does it work for anyone? This is the open end ratcheting mechanism that's supposed to work. They they always seem just cumbersome to me. We, I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? All right. Um. Raphael says, I couldn't justify ratcheting, ratchet wrenches either until I picked up an old set of Craftsman and estate sale that have tilting heads. I love them. I used to swear by the tilting head ones and said I would never go with like the reversible ones until Harbor Freight sent me the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Icon ones. The regular Icon wrenches are meh, they're all right, but the, the ratcheting ones, I really like them. Um, Barbecue 76 says, in tight spots, you appreciate more than six points. Yeah, but if they're ratcheting, you can spin you can spin the the ratchet. Uh, Michael says, "Wonder what the Craftsman Mechanics tool will cost once their Texas plant is up and running." I I don't think we'll we'll see any kind of price difference because I think it's still going to be made. It's going to be that made in the USA from global materials. So basically, eighty nine percent percent of the tool will be made, uh, and they'll just do the finishing touch ups and boxing on them here to qualify it as quote unquote made in the USA under their, their asterisk there. Barbecue 76 says, I think that's the third deal that I've heard you can save a dollar on a whole dollar. knocks my socks off. Killer deal. <laughs> Thick ones. That was sarcasm. <laughs> hey man, it's a dollar. Don't, don't say that on my wife, Mitch. She'll lose her. You know what on you? Uh, Dean says, Michael M. They actually are going to really make craftsmen in the U S mm, I'll believe it when I see it. I see. Uh, William says I've never heard of SATA Autumn and Dan says basically husky um, Brian says nope those open ends are super janky oh there we go uh, Pablo says uh, hello from LA and Michael says yes in Fort Worth Texas they're going to be cold forge instead of hot forge for what it's worth oh. the uh where did you get that? I hadn't heard anything about what process techniques and stuff they were going to use down there. I know what they already have a plant there that it's a, it's an addition to the plant they already have down there. It was supposed to be online as of right now, and it's not. Uh, but I'm not holding that against them because, you know, 2020, there's probably like flaming death locusts coming next week. Who knows? And... Uh, it's probably now going to be late spring of next year is my guess for when they're actually going to start full production over there. Oh, let's see what we got here. Crescent HK Porter Tools. Well, that's piqued my interest. And not much here. We got a extendable indexing rebar bender. I don't use those very often. Uh, and a Crescent wire cable cutter. Oh, that's interesting, though. I like that. Um, 29 and 20% off. Mm, I don't know if it's enough to make me jump on that, but it is interesting. All right, let's keep going here. Gear wrench, more gear wrench sockets. Good grief. Oh, who asked for the skill sauce? Someone asked for the skill sauce. And right, let's jump into that here. We got... We got two skill saws here. So we got the 15 amp, seven and quarter inch lightweight worm drive circular saw, 200 bucks, save 25%. That's a pretty good deal. Like, sounds like to me. It's going to take it down to 150. Um, let's see. What kind of, come, stop. 
we can price we can see around the uh, the net for that uh, 189 Ace Hardware 169 Acme Tools but that might be is that a Try to make sure it's not refurbished. So come back and check on that. 161 on eBay. Who knows what they did to it? Um, that's looking like a pretty damn 179 at the Home Depot. So you're still, if you call it 180, you're still 30 bucks below that. That's looking like a pretty darn good price. Um, all right, skill saw with Diablo Blade. Da, 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 low price. I don't think this is a refurb. Let's see here. Nope. Not refurbished. So, uh, still, I mean, that would be a good price <laughs> most days of the week. Uh, not sure what the, do they have shipping anyway, uh, but still, that's a that's a fine deal. Free shipping uh, for 150 bucks. The other one we get is the Skill Saw 15 inch, seven quarter inch aluminum worm drive circular saw, uh, 169, and it's got 25 uh, percent off as well. Wow. That's a hundred geez of Pete. One twenty six seventy five for a an actual brand skill saw with blade. Um I believe it comes with a blade, I'm just assuming. Um the ready cut this is fifty one percent bevel and they think that's a man, if you've been looking to get a worm drive and uh you've been trying to find a budget option on it. And that's that's the deal of the day right there. All right, let's see here. Um, Barbecue seventy six says ratcheting wrenches are generally larger, so if you need more than six points, then a ratcheting wrench. In cases I found it to be too big, still trying to justify them for myself, but haven't found a way. Uh, Barbecue seventy six also says, guess I don't work on things that would make me appreciate it enough, but I still do see the appeal and I'm still trying to talk myself into them. You know, the typical thing is buy the tool and the use finds you. And Dan says, I still have the old school gear wrench, ratchet wrenches that are thinner. And Justin says that data green, uh, I think you mean data green reminds me of the grizzly green. I hope it doesn't tarnish their brand. <laughs> Samuel says, Found it. Uh, don't know if you know Camel 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 for price history. Uh, see if it's really on sale. I have used Camel Camel Camel. I I've actually deleted it because I don't find it to be all that accurate. Honestly, uh, it's a lot of it's based on people reporting stuff into them and whatnot. And I found many times where it's like, oh, this is not the best deal, and I know that it it was, or I, I, it anyway. Not a fan of it. Uh, Justin says, I was interested in skill saw, mostly their table saws. I heard their worm drives are the best in the business. I, I'm i probably biased. Uh, you know, when I was a carpenter, skill saw was like the Mercedes Benz. It was the top of the line flagship that everyone wanted to have. You know, I got to use one here and there. I never owned one myself. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> Actually, a viewer said that he refurbished some and, and that he would, you know, give me a deal and, a, and send me one. And so I, I did, paid him for one and he shipped it in a box with no packing and it arrived in pieces. I was not happy. It's, I think I still have it. May have thrown it away in frustration. But yeah, it's just all, all the, the core of it, I think, still works. Maybe I'll turn it into a table saw at some point. Um, Brian says, I wish I did more with wood so I could justify that skill saw. And Dan says, same ones. Yeah, that's a good way of checking. Justin says, though, I've been looking for a good circular saw. You know, and you can use them as a table saw, too. They have converters and stuff like that. They have tables you can hook them up to, have a fence the whole nine yards. Uh, content you deserve, says Bear Daddy, plus two vids for plus size bears, especially those of us 300 or 350 paws. Uh, 
videos on what? Clothes? I mean, um, the Rebel Robot says, almost all the uh, Freud, oh, it jumped on me, sorry. Freud 10-inch blades are 10% off. That's good to know. Um, and Barbecue 76 says, so you get the three-quarter inch wrench because you, the use you will find you. Ex- yep, exactly. And Samuel says, honey does price history too. Don't know how accurate. I, you know, I also recently deleted honey. I tried it and I, it never find, find me any coupons or any deals. Maybe because I already know all the deals. So I don't know. Uh, Misfit says the skill looks, the skill saw deal looks really good. If I was going to buy a quarter to seven, a quarter inch saw, that'd be the one. Barbecue 76 says the older skill saw worm drives were nearly indestructible. I'm pissed that two of them grew legs and walked away from me. I'd have to find an estate sale or something similar to replace them. You would. I have heard that they're not as good. The new ones are not as good as they used to be uh, as far as uh, robustness. But because of some of the advances in technology and motor tech, they actually cut smoother and cut faster. Um Misfit says, 169 20% off. Sheesh. Yep. And Williams says, how about the DeWalt Chainsaw DCP 7 Amazon have it? Let's take a look. Um, let's see here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's go back here. Oh, we got some gear wrench sockets and stuff. All this gear wrench stuff is showing up as 20% off, so I'm not going to click on each one of these. But we'll uh, scroll through it, see if there's anything worth looking at. Um, let's see here. The newer ones are not that good. I w- they're not as robust, is what I would say. Uh, but I think that the good thing, I think they cut smoother and f- and faster than the old ones. Um he says, damn, there was a garage sale across the street that had one, too. Too heavy for me. They're not lightweight. They aren't. Uh, Dean says, "That's I got a good, uh, I got a skill saw as a gift. They're sweet. Uh, this is a good deal. William says, the old 77 models. This fit says, any pawn shop usually has them. I don't know how you guys find these deals at pawn shops. I've been looking at pawn shops for years, and I think they just hate me. Because uh, as soon as I walk in, they're like, nope, that's the price. Won't give you a deal. Nothing. They just don't like the look of me or something. And Pablo says, I've been looking for a drill bit set. We'll keep an eye out. And Misfit says, nearly bought the Metabo 23 gauge pin nailer a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So we got some more sockets. We got sockets on rails. Here is a 71 piece quarter inch man the quarter inch stuff what is up with all the quarter inch deals quarter inch drive six point oh, that's nice universal impact yeah, universal uh standard and deep sa uh for 199 20 percent off and let's see all right let's keep going over here there's kershaw oh my gosh the dewalt guys are going to lose their mind if they actually have matrix sets they do and it's 16 how did they come up with 16 percent off what the what was that person smoking so 179 times 0.84 whoa i did that wrong 179 times 0.84 150 bucks we got some people who swear absolutely swear by the black and decker matrix system and if you guys don't know, it's a power head system where the front of the drill comes off. It's like the job max system from rigid, but in a pistol grip, 20 volt. Um, and you got a sander, you got, looks like a, a rotary cutting tool, uh, as an impact. And I have no idea what the other thing is there. Um, multi-tool, uh, it's got five tools in one. And there's other things you can get for it. I know there's like a little mini circ saw thing and jigsaw you can get for it. It does all sorts of things. It slices, it dices, it julienne fries, all that good stuff. Oh, there it is the jigsaw. There you go. So all those tools in one for 150 bucks. For like DIYers, it'd be a great deal. I could see like if you're one of these people that like spend a lot of time in RVs or on boats, there's all your, all your, your whole toolkit in one right there. I could see that as being a deal. 
All right, let's see here. Misfit says pawn shop pricing sucks. Seriously, I went in and the local pawn shop and they had a very lightly used uh, M12 ratchet. Just the basic, not the long neck or anything else. Just the basic M12 ratchet. I'm like, oh, this would be great for testing. How much do you want for it? And they're like, mm, uh, its price on us is eighty seven dollars. I'm like, I I can buy it new, for online, shipped to my house for that price, if not less. I'm like, you can do can you do me anything better? Looks to the computer, goes, nope, that's the price we got. And I guess because they know some more and will walk in and go, ooh, Milwaukee, I'll buy it. Ah. <sighs> anyway, let's see. We got oh some wear. This is a this is a nice little tool. 15% off. Let's see what we got on here. Oh, look at this. We got a whole bunch of wear stuff. And what kind of deal are we looking at on here? We're looking at 15% off. Well, you know, for wear, uh, it's nice to get anything off. So we're looking at 3247 times 0 0.85, 2760 on that. Uh, Somebody asked me today if I liked Wera. I, I do. I think Wera makes some great stuff. I know some people are not thrilled with the uh, the pattern, the, the the that weird wavy kind of pattern on the handle. Uh, I, it works for me. I like using them. Uh, I don't know what you all think about them. Uh, the Wera Parent uh, Title. What is that? The Wera Parent Title. Don't know. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, check plus bit ratchet set with sockets and metric. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. That's going to run you $73 plus 15% off on that. Uh, another 39 piece set. We got some of the electric insulated electrical stuff. This is nice. The Wear Craftsman, this 64-bit holding set, that is a nice portable set there. Um, we have $888. What the schnauzer? <laughs> Who's paying $888 for that? i got to find this. Hold on. Where's the $888 option? Is that size 5? Oh, you can buy multiple packs. That's what it is. $593. Okay. So volume purchases, I guess, whatever. Oh, let's see anything else here. We got some of their ratchets. Uh, I looked at some of their stuff. They're like, they're coming out with whole new socket sets. And I saw them at SEMA. Dan, did you, did you talk to them at SEMA last year? Uh, I was not thoroughly impressed with their new socket sets. They're made in Taiwan. Uh, they're OEM from somebody else. But uh, I didn't see the ratchet or the, the the wrenches here, but I did see the sockets. They, they, they weren't terrible, but I thought for where uh, I was expecting more. Maybe I'm being too snobby. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch up on the, the chats here. Uh, Rebel Robot says the Yoast parallel clamps worth buying or should I splurge for Bessie or Jorgensen? I'm not the person to ask on that. I'm, I think they're fine. Uh, and I've never, I don't think I've tried the Jorgensen, the Bessie. I don't think they're any better than the Bessie. I have a Bessie, um, uh, vice. It's, it's good, but I'm, I'm not like, well, this is the best thing in the entire world. Uh, Misfit says jet. I want jet, but I'm curious too. Michael says, I would get the Bessie parallel clamps. There you go. Samuel says, pawn shops around here, around me are more expensive than Home Depot. Yeah, it's it's insane how much they want. Uh, Brian D says, my cousin has the Matrix for DIY. It's perfect. The content you deserve says, the gear wrench serpentine belt set is a must buy. Has a million uses. Uh, thank me later. Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue 76 says, speaking of power heads, are you familiar with the Dremel Easy Lock system? If not, look into it. I enjoy it versus the normal rotary tool heads. I'm not familiar with it. I will have to take a look at it. Misfit says, same only thing worth buying at pawn shops are used video games from the 90s for two bucks. 
and uh, any screwdriver set deals. We just passed a whole bunch. SATA, uh, which is a mid-level tier from Apex, the same people who do Gear Wrench, uh, has a whole bunch of screwdriver stuff on sale. Uh, just and we just looked at the the Wera stuff, of course. Uh, Rebel Robot says software electrical engineer. The Wera two twenty thirty five six are worth their weight in gold. I've had mine for five plus years, and. Miss says, maybe it's just me, but $72 for a set of screwdriving bits. <laughs> Justin says, I need clamps of similar, slightly less quality at reasonable prices. They're hard to find. Bear posted one earlier that I'm trying to uh, go have to review the video, try to find it again. Uh, that was on Woot, uh, where I posted those. And the, uh, you know... Let's see, you said you need a similar or slightly less quality. Have you looked at the Harbor Freight clamps? The Harbor Freight F-style, not the ratcheting ones. The ratcheting ones are junk. But the the uh, the F-style clamps, the bar clamps, they're fantastic. Um, the Bora cheap but don't go parallel from things I've read. Kind of important for parallel. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know about the Harbor Freight parallel clamps. Uh, Audubon Dance says check mostly. Really? Uh... Misfit says, not cheap, but cheaper. And Dean says, I thought Ware made their stuff in the Czech Republic. They're, from what I understood, they were outsourcing the socket uh, builds. And D- Dan said, some Taiwan, good quality. And Patrick says, e- Dremel Easy Lock is dang convenient. And I'll be honest, right now, uh, who is it? Hart sent me their little Dremel kit uh, that I've been using. I really like the one with the the flexible, uh, uh, what do you call it? flex hose or whatever on it, uh, hose, but the flex cable. Uh, the the only problem is that it only runs off of battery, which it's fairly convenient for that. But I'd like the option to be able to plug it in as well. Michael says I bought a DW seven thirty four planer about five years ago for two fifty new in the box. At a pawn shop compared to 450 new from Home Depot, your mileage may vary. Yeah, and Dan says the knurled edges and the color coding on the wear sockets are nice. Yeah, they I did like that. I and I like the finish on it, but I was just again I for wear I was expecting something more. I guess oh we got some Jacobs Chucks here on sale. They're 20 percent off. Uh, oh, so somebody was asking for Jet. We got 20 percent off on select Jet tools. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we got the, uh, disc and belt sander. We got a grinder and that's about it for tools. $454. Uh, you know, my favorite kind of jet tools, the, the ones that somebody else bought and decided they don't need anymore, but they took really good care of and they just want to get rid of them. <laughs> There's some more SATA stuff there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, excellent. Canfield Hospital, 20% off on that stuff. Here we go. Wilton Tradesman Vice, 20% off. Um, wow, look at that. Now, Wilton, I don't remember the Tradesman. This is not screaming to me that it's made in the U.S., but the price seems close. Nope. Buried in the notes, this is not USA made. I'm not surprised. The, the, well, the, usually the USA made stuff, just you look at it and you're like, okay, that that's USA made. And that was not screaming to me that it was. Uh, but still, it's a good vice. Six and a half inch ball of vice there. Uh, and you save 20% off on that. Um, wow. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, not my budget right now. We got Makita and more skill. This is oh, 30% off on this Makita. Or not. What happened? Did the link just die on me? Huh. Maybe they're sold out on it. No Makita for you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Elklid. They're talking about made in the USA. We got some 20% off on some Elklid products. And oh look at all that! I don't know. I I think all their stuff is made in the U.S. I could be wrong. Am I confusing them with someone else? 
Made in America. And it is already 6% off. You get an additional 20% off at checkout. That's not bad for that kind of stuff. Oh, sorry, folks. Train's coming through town. All right, let's see what we got here. Da -da -da. We got another Wilton Vice there. We got some more stuff. Uh, Pain thickness meter. Not something I use very often. Irwin. Irwin blades. I've had good luck with Irwin blades. I know everyone screams uh, Diablo and all that kind of stuff. I I like the Irwin stuff I've had. Now, I'm not. this is a metal. I've not tried this one. Uh, you're looking at $50 and, oh, wow, 50% off at checkout. That's the biggest discount we've seen so far. Let's see what the... Uh, around the web price on that is so we're looking at 51 so 25.50 oh that's blowing away everyone else man if you're looking for a seven and a quarter inch metal blade 64 68 tooth that's the deal to get all right let's see here um What's a good set of pliers? Uh, depends on where you're going to use them from. I think the Doyle pliers from Harbor Freight are, are decent. Uh, the Tecton pliers are great. Uh, Klein's are fantastic. Nipex are fantastic. Um, who else makes good? Uh, Channel Lock has some decent pliers out there. They're not fantastic, but they're decent. They're made in the USA. Uh, some of them are, I should say. Um... The Squish, is that right? SK Wish, Squish says Harbor Freight clamps with the blue handles are awesome. The ones with the black handles are not so much. Uh, Rebel Robot says the link was dead for me too. Oh, there we go. Uh, anything from Channel Lock? Haven't run across anything yet. Uh, Autobahn Dan says can't go wrong with Nipex pliers. No, other than the price, but no. And even then, you can find them on some decent sales. Uh, you find them on Amazon on sale fairly regularly. Cameron says, do you like Chicago electric power tools? Some of them, yeah. Um, I've got the jigsaw that I've had for years, and it runs flawlessly. Not that I use jigsaws all the time. And that's often what I buy. It's like I need this tool every so often, but I don't use it all the time. Uh, I've got their Recip saw that I've used that goes on sale for like 20 bucks. Um, just remember this. It's a discount tool. Uh, it, so the runtime on the motor is going to be lower than something like a high-end DeWalt or whatnot. And so when it starts to get warm, let it take a break. I know a lot of people who buy a Chicago electric tool and say, well, it died on me the first time. I'm like, what'd you do? Well, I just running on this project. And it should run for 30 minutes straight. No, 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 it really shouldn't. Um, the Angela says, I'm pushing buttons somehow as I'm dozing off. So I'll catch you later. I have that same problem. I start clicking on the mouse. You have a good night. Take care. Raphael says, I heart Irwin blades. You know, that's typically what I, I used to do is I when I needed a new blade for the saw, I would go into this, I'd look on, online, and it seemed like either week, either Diablo or Irwin were on sale. And I'd just grab whichever one was on sale, and I never really noticed a difference. Um, and then, actually, now the new Hercules blades, there I would put them up in that, that same kind of level. Uh, Craig says, used Wilton's go for 300 bucks on Marketplace. Uh, the... The, just the regular ones or the USA made ones. Justin says, I have always missed your live streams on Sunday to go to, to go because of work. So it was really awesome to be able to join you tonight. Blessings. Have a good evening. Good night, everyone. Good night. You take care. Wow. We're going on two hours here. I better get going here myself. Barque 76 says, I can tell you for pliers and other hand tools, Pittsburgh is not wonderful. <laughs> unless it's for light duty work. <laughs> yeah. I would have to agree with that. Um, the I'm not a fan of the pits, uh, yeah. And um, Patrick says, "Gotta buy the Kniepik stuff when the exchange rate is working for you, <laughs> not now." <laughs> and Craig says, "Ideal pliers." And hey, hey, you know what? That's a good point. Ideal, if you guys don't know, is uh, also owned by the same family uh, that owns SK Tools, so it all comes out of the same kind of foundries and whatnot. I'm not going to say it's the same kind of quality, but it's pretty good, and it's USA made. Um, all right, let's go through, step through the restaurant. I think that's it. I think that we got, ooh, here we go. 
auto retractable box cutter with ceramic blade fantastic all right that's gonna be it for that let's go back here uh we'll do a refresh see if anything else popped up anytime soon this looks more of the same click on the deals let's check the lightning deals and see if we got any it actually can be home improvement isn't it here we go home improvement lightning deals good oh if you're looking for lighting look at this problem with these is there's like a bajillion different levels of quality with these some guys i know like them i'm not a fan of them but if you do like them and you've got places to use them 2390 that's not a bad deal this bizarro shower head here uh, a nice little step ladder fire extinguisher there for 1759 uh badass moto jeep oh jeep fire extinguisher with mount for roll bar wait is it the fire extinguisher or just the mount i think it's just the mount uh leather welding work sleeves oh come on be a man take the sparks the, this is a shower head okay if you say oh, here we go super handy chain hoist half ton capacity now this starts in two minutes and 20 seconds i got the little countdown going there let's see i don't think that's the price i wonder what the price is going to be on it i guess i can leave it up and see if it shows us here's a nice little ladder look at this that's a clever little lamp. You got a bunch of plugs and stuff in it. It's not like you see at a hotel. And, oh, look, Porter Cable Replacement Batteries. <laughs> um, oh, oh, my gosh, Chemo Tools. Man, these people would not stop pestering me for the longest time. I basically told them, send me every tool you have and uh, $1,500 and I'll do a review. That made him go away. Uh, through night. This this could oh, and we got some Olight. Let's see what we got here. Well, this could be interesting. Uh, that, but they don't start until five thirty. We'll have to check back on those, I guess. Um, currently forty dollars. Uh, through nights they're not bad. They're like budget Olights essentially. Uh, the Olight. I love the Olights. There's I mean, they're fa they're f they're fantastic, but they're not cheap. Um, don't know what the the price on that's going to be. We we'll get rid of that, and let's see if this thing actually came about. Nope, not yet. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Raphael says, "Also, let the tool do the work." I lent a drill to a buddy who immediately leaned into it and started bogging it down. Not saying I didn't push him off the ladder. <laughs> Cameron says drill master is the best oh my i think they're going away good news is i hear the warrior lines actually going to get expanded which i think is a great thing because con true consumer grade cordless tools are about dead uh if you guys haven't noticed there's almost nothing out for black and decker anymore it's, i was stunned to see the matrix thing because it's been impossible to find anywhere else basically they have a, a four tool combo kit and that's it. There's no tools outside of that. And if you're trying to like expand and be a DIYer on a real budget, uh, the only other option is the uh, Hyper Tough from Walmart, which is hyper-ish. And uh, it's really nobody else is doing anything. So I've been pestering Harbor Freight, and finally a, a little bird over there told me that they were trying to expand that. Hopefully that happens sometime soon. Of course, if you're waiting on hercules to get expanded you might as well you know take a long 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 nap on that one uh barbecue 76 says this is this is great less viewers i have time to keep up with the chat and even answer more questions you have time to go in more depth with chat and questions i realize it's not ideal for youtube but no and autobahn dance is 46 hours of no productivity left <laughs> uh barbecue 76 says a lot more helpful for those that are here in my opinion you don't have to blast through all the stuff going on in chat it is nice isn't it 
Uh, Pablo says, what's a good pocket flashlight? Uh, uh, the two we just talked about, those things are great. And there's a whole line that goes along with either of them. If you're looking for budget, uh, the through night is a great budget system. And, uh, it, and if you want something a little bit nicer, um, the, the O lights are fantastic. I have a desk full of O light, uh, granted they sent them to me. Uh, I'm not a flashlight snob. I don't know if I would buy one. Uh, but for those people who are flashlight snobs, they really like them. <laughs> and let's see here. Barbecue says battery tech has gotten to the point where quarter tools don't have to be your only option. For example, your recent lawn and garden video. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I wouldn't do gas anymore uh, unless, you know, I had just acres and acres and that was the only way to do it. Uh, Auto Bound Dan says the Streamlight on Prime looks good, but only a few were rechargeable. Yeah, I won't get a non-rechargeable flashlight anymore. Uh, Barbie, you know what? Harbor Freight, their their brand, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the, oh, I, excuse me. They've got some decent flashlights, and some of them are rechargeable as well. Uh, Barbecue76 says, I bought the Ego electric lawnmower and weed eater, told a friend of mine about it. He bought the same one as my recommendation. It was floored with how good it works. People think I'm nuts. I have tons of guys, I would never switch to gas. And then later they're like, Okay, so I tried an electric, and I'm going out to buy one this weekend. I'm like, yeah, it, it's just like that, because not only does it have a ton of power, because, I don't know, electric motors have torque. Um, imagine that. On top of that, they just work. You put the battery in, you press the button, it works every time. Brian says, thanks, Bear. That was real nice. Actually getting to catch a live stream. Got to go to work. Have a good uh, morning, everyone. Mike Schmidt says, howdy, Jeff. Doug says, Oh, he's talking to uh, Barbecue76. Brian says, Bear just invested in the full 3 8 drive Tekton ratchet and socket set. Great tools. Very, very impressed. Any Tekton stuff on Prime deals? I didn't see any in that. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's search for Tekton and see if anything. There'll be a little blue square underneath it that says Prime if it's a Prime Day deal. Look at those acrylic stubbies. I didn't know they were doing the acrylic stubbies. Those are adorable. Uh, those are super stubbies. Wow. Um, not seeing anything here. But scroll through a little bit more. There's a set. Oh, that's not even protected. Nope, doesn't look like it. Sorry. Not terribly surprised. They don't go out of their way for sales. Um. The hold on here. Come on. Oh, too far. And Rafa says, best power tool. Don't forget power fist. <laughs> My favorite power tool that I own right now, <coughs> at least as far as cordless, is probably my uh, Makita Impact. I really like that. Kyle J says, power fist is what you get when you buy Snap-on. <laughs> oh, geez. But hey, at least you get free candy. Uh, Pablo says, my phone is dying. Thanks for answering my question. Bye. No worries, man. Dean says, Olight is great. I have one on my CZ and one on my AR plus several little hand lights. Yeah, I've got one on my SIG, and it is fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. And Craig says, was at Columbia Presbyterian for a colonoscopy. They have a Waterloo toolbox in the procedure room. <laughs> That's interesting. Hey, made, made in America, right? Made in Iowa. Uh, all right, everyone. That's it. We're caught up on the chats. We're caught up on the deals. And I got to go catch up on some sleep here. Was only planning to go for an hour. We went for an hour 50. So I got to run. You all should go to sleep. Dan, You, what are you doing awake, man? Uh, I guess it's an hour later for you. So it's only one uh, fifty in the morning. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. Check back later. We're going to be checking in and doing this uh, throughout the next two days. So, uh, the, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a, a chance to uh, talk about the stuff again real soon. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on. <laughs>